Hi, Barry Foster here, and welcome back to The Scottish Job with Glenn Rothers. And today we've got that very big Highland Lowland Leagues playoff final first leg away to Bora Rangers at Dudgeon Park. And this is going to be a pretty big match. I'll be quite happy to walk away with, um, I think, a draw from this game. And of course, uh, whoever wins this uh, uh, two-legged affair get to play Cowden Beath because when I had a look at um, the Scottish uh, League 2 as you can see Cowden Beath ended up coming last on 25 points two points behind Stranra so they will be our opponents if we can get past Bora Rangers and Bora Rangers I think will be a pretty tough side because they won the Highland League rather comfortably I think by around about 11 points and uh, Glen Roth's uh, topped uh, the Lowland League on goal difference from the Cali Braves. But anyway, without further chit-chat, let's go and play the Rangers. And here's the starting 11 for today. An unchanged side, Richardson in goal, Lawton, Watson, Hammond and Lumsden across our back line with Edwards, King, Marshews and McLeod Kay in midfield. Allen and Curry will lead the attacking line and on the bench, Eastham, Olsen, Paver, Odeep, Stewart, Robbie Leach and Justin Iwobi. Let's go and chat to the boys. Well, once again, uh, plenty to choose from when it comes to team talks. I'm, I'm not going to put any pressure on the boys, just uh, ignore the recent praise and go out there and have some fun. They've done very, very well to get this far. And Bora Rangers, pretty good recent form. Four wins and a draw. And uh, the same for Glenn Rothes, four wins and a draw. So uh, I think two fairly evenly matched teams, I think, uh, today. But anyway, it's uh, Brora Rangers in the red and Glenn Rothes in a, a dark blue strip. On a pretty good pitch as well. As I said, uh, if we can end up with a draw from this game, I'll be uh, pretty happy. But if we can come away with a victory, well, that'll be even better. But anyway, this is Allen losing possession, I thought, rather cheaply there in the opening minutes. And it's uh, Brewer Rangers with a, a long throw, but straight to Hammond, who's funny enough, he uh, gave me praise after we won the uh, the Lowland League title, but he ref still refuses to sign a new contract which is disappointing because I'd like to sign him uh, for another season or two. And especially if we do get to play in, uh, in League Two, I think he'd be quite a good, uh, good young central defender. But anyway, this is... Oh, and Brewer Rangers have um, opened the scoring with a pretty good goal there by McRae. It was a decent cross, but he's offside. Okay. Oh, offside. I think he I think he was. He's, and he has been judged offside, so we've been let off the hook there. That was a very nice glancing header that beat our keeper Richardson. So maybe a bit of a warning shot for Glenn Rothers, but uh let's call out some uh praise to the boys. Anyway, Edwards taking the corner in his must be on a bit of an injury. We'll take a look at that shortly after this uh, highlight. Now, this is King, Marshews. Oh, nice ball. McLeod K. Oh, he tried to beat the keeper. Just couldn't quite do it. Let's have a quick look at um, Edwards. What's wrong with him? Injured. Oh, potential knee. I don't like that. Okay, we'll have to bring on Robbie Leach very early. It's a bit of a blow. So we'll take... Um, Charlie Edwards off, but King will take the corner now. Nice deep one, but that's been dealt with by the defence. So to lose uh, Edwards so early in the game, that is disappointing. But unfortunately, injuries do come along. But let's uh, call out some praise to the boys. It's been a pretty even opening 20 minutes. The Rangers did get the ball in the back of the net, but uh, it was ruled offside. But they're uh, controlling possession a little bit better than us. Anyway, this is a ball pumped straight down the park now, Allen. And this is Watson to Lawton now, King, Leach. He's done well, I must admit. Leach has done pretty well when he's come off the park. A little bit lucky to keep possession there. 
but this is uh, Leech again. And we do have a trigger in his contract. We can extend him for another 12 months, and I think I will, because he's done quite well when he's uh, come off the bench for us. He's already got a number of uh, assists to his name, and oh, that's a, oh, almost another one. Curry just putting it over the bar. Maybe he should have done a little bit better from that position. But a pretty uh, dangerous cross there from Leach. But... Uh, this is Brewer Rangers with uh, possession. Now Meekings, he's just going to play it safe back to Harkness. Now Finney. Long ball, good ball. Found Kelly. Oh, not a bad sort of a cross. Oh boy, and that's hit the <laughs> upright, I think. <laughs> I think Lady Luck was on a... Oh, well... <laughs> Lady Luck wasn't on our side there. That's a pretty good strike by Finney. So they have taken the lead in the uh, 30th minute. We dodged a bullet here. I'm pretty sure it hit the uh, the upright. It gets cleared, but Finney just rifles it back in. He's a long way out. He hit that very sweetly, and maybe Richardson could have done a little bit better there. But maybe the speed of the ball beat him. Okay, maybe a quarter of an hour before the uh, half-time break. Let's uh, demand a little bit more from the boys if we can. There's not much in it when you look at the stats. So it's been a bit of an even sort of a tussle. Even corners are almost even, but it's uh, Brewer Rangers with that vital goal on the board through Finney. But he's Lumsden now with a throw to Marsh Hughes. And uh, Hammond's been playing uh, well in the centre of defence once again, rating 7.1. Now King playing it all the way back to Richardson. He normally doesn't do that. Now this is Watson. Now back to King. Looks for McLeod Gay. That's a pretty good ball out to him. Can he beat his man out there? Oh, he's showing way too much of the ball. But we're a bit lucky. We got it back very quickly. Now this is King again. Looks for McLeod K. Now Curry. Trying to play it back to McLeod K. Now, can he get a decent cross in? This is Marsh Hughes. He gets a cross in. Curry. Oh, he glances the header just wide. That could have been 1 1. Very, very close to being an equalizer. And I've got a feeling that might be the opening 45 minutes. Two minutes of added time. Maybe one more highlight. We certainly don't want to concede another goal. We almost did. But King should clear it. Watson does. Straight down to Allen. So that was an e-run thing just then. OK, that's half time. 1-0 to Brewer Rangers. Pretty good crowd. 762 fans and 231 have travelled from Glen Rothes. That's uh, pretty good to see. Let's go and chat to the boys. Okay, half time. It's point the old finger, and once again, I'm going to ask the boys to do a lot better in the second half because I think we can play better. We weren't terrible in the opening 45 minutes, but I think we can play better. But uh, we're a goal down, so we've got uh, plenty to do, and we won't do it by giving away possession like that. That was a bit of a, a cheap pass to no one in particular. So Brewer Rangers keep possession from the throw-in and uh, they've been a decent uh, decent competitor so far, I must admit. I can see why they uh, won the Highland League. Anyway, this is Cassidy playing it back to McLean. Got to make sure they don't score a second goal. Certainly Finney with a bullet in the uh, the first half, he did. And this is Brown. Good run. Oh, this is all well blocked and well cleared. Now, this is Leach. I thought he was going to go for a bit of a gallop at the end of our highlight. So, Bora Rangers with a free kick. Oh, and there's the second one. Kyle Semple. Beating Richardson. From a uh, set piece. So the Rangers are now in the driving seat in this first leg. Two goals to nil. 
We're in the 50th minute, but once again, Richardson can only flap at the ball. Don't think we want to see that again. Everybody, I think, was onside. So uh, a lot to do now for Glenn Rothes, I must admit. Maybe my half-time team talk wasn't quite the one to do. But we'll, uh, I think we'll make a, a substitution, another one. King's not having the best of games in midfield, which is not like him. We'll bring on Young Odeep for um, Adam Kim, King, I should say, Adam King. And that should leave us, I think, one more substitution up our sleeve. I should have checked with the rules to see if we have more than three. Anyway, this is Leach. He can hit it, and he does, but just over the bar. Fairly good strike by Robbie Leach. Now, McLeod K. He's going to have a go. Why not? Well, not quite as good. Not bad, but uh, not as good as Leach. One more substitution. Who should maybe come off? Jordan Allen is struggling in our forward line, and I think we'll roll the dice. We'll bring on young Justin Iwobi for Jordan Allen. And uh, Justin Iwobi, I think he likes to be a bit of an advanced forward. So we'll give uh, one of our new signings a bit of a run in the final 20-odd minutes. But so far, we don't seem to be making much headway. Although the match stats are pretty even, there's not much in it. But it's a 2-0 to the Brewer Rangers, doing it quite easily. And I think we'll uh, demand a little bit more in the final maybe six, seven minutes of the match. But it's going to be a very tough ask in the second leg for us to maybe overturn a 2-0 deficit. Anyway, Finney for the Rangers and our McLean and Robertson. You certainly don't want to concede a third. So I think it would make it almost impossible in the second leg to pull pull that deficit back. But they're uh, keeping possession rather nicely. If we can pull one goal back, it would um, make our job a little bit easier in the second leg. But once again, <clears throat> Brawler Rangers just keeping it very nicely. Another shot blocked, but they keep possession. Uh, that's Lawton. Good interception now. Curry. Marshews looking for Iwobi. He won't quite have the pace to get onto that. He's got fresh legs. He's straight off the bench, but he wasn't quick enough. But four minutes of added time, and I think that's going to be it. First leg, dying seconds of the uh, of this match. And this is Justin Iwobi. Now Marshews looking for Leach, maybe. And that's it. Full time at Dudgeon Park with Bora Rangers winning two goals to nil. And I guess you've got to say they probably deserve that. Although there was a match in the uh, match stats when you look at them. Not a great deal, really. Possession was almost 50 50, five corners to four. Okay, they had slightly better XG and five more shots. But uh, a pretty good victory for Bora Rangers. Let's go and chat to the boys. Well, I normally don't do this, but I'm going to thrash the old arms around and tell the boys we just weren't good enough. Because I think that's the truth. So let's see what's going to happen next. Well, that's a bit of a blow. Charlie Edwards uh, will be out for maybe five to eight days with a twisted knee. So you can uh, pretty well rule him out for the second leg match against uh, Brewer Rangers. We'll leave the uh, the press conference to our uh, assistant as we normally do. And Marsh Hughes reveals Foster Fury. You know, so I was a little bit cranky with the boys. Losing two goals to nil in the uh, the first leg. And as you can see, the uh, the second leg at uh, the Beirut Stadium is in seven days' time. So we've got a fair bit of work to do, I think, between now and then to get this team back in shape and hopefully uh, back on to uh, winning some football, football games. Because um, if we don't, that's it for this uh, season, apart from the, uh, the Lowland League Cup, which we will have to play after the second leg game. But that's the video for today. Unfortunately, a 2-0 defeat away to the Brewer Rangers. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to leave a comment, please do. Until next time, I'm Barry Foster saying it's goodbye from me.